Well, it's a new day. Same chaos coaching. We got the whistle. We got the hat. I know what you're thinking. I say the same thing every single time. Well, that's right. Let's get into the video. What's good, everybody? And welcome to another Chaos Coaching. I'm super excited to bring you this one today. It's going to be a little bit of a special episode. So first, we're going to be going over a play that's completely, uh, what's that? What's that word when something goes together with something? What's that word? I'm drawing a blank here. What is that word? Oh, compatible. It's completely compatible with the scheme. I just dropped over at Hot Rod Dot Tips, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making you wait 10 seconds for that plug. I think the play will be worth it. I really do. It works as a one play touchdown. It's got zone beating concepts. It's got man beating concepts. I think it's a very effective play, and I think it'll be worth it. And the rest of the gameplay is just be like a normal chaos coaching. We'll go over our lineup. We'll break down our offensive and defensive thoughts as we go, breaking down what we're breaking down what we're seeing out there. Trying to teach, trying to do our best job of coaching, trying to do, trying to help you all get better at the game, and honestly, trying to help myself get better at the game the entire time as well. So that's what we're gonna be doing. First part's gonna be the play. Second part's gonna be the lineup. Third part's gonna be us going through our gameplay as we usually do, just like a normal chaos coaching. Let's take a look at this play. Now the play is going to be wide receiver post out of the single back wide trips. Now this play can be found in nine different playbooks, so I'll have them all listed for you in the description below. I'm currently in Chargers, but that's just for their gun trips tight end. Maybe you might like any of the other eight more, and if you do, this play will still be there for you. Now I just wanna start here showing how it beats cover too deep for a touchdown. This deep right post, we're not gonna set up any other part of the play. We're just gonna show this deep right post beating cover too deep. Doesn't matter if there's a mid read there or not. It doesn't matter if you're on the short side or the wide side, it's gonna be open deep for a touchdown. As you see, it splits cover too deep for a touchdown. And that's easy and you just want you want your fastest player there or your highest deep route running player now in regs you kind of have to choose with whatever te the team has right so we have deontay harris out there on the right side and we have michael thomas in the slot obviously michael thomas is probably going to be our best route runner however michael thomas gets the route uh route apprentice so that he can put any, like post corners anything like that so i i tend to have that in the slot so i can use those routes if i need to now the setup we're going to be going over today doesn't use any of those routes i'm just saying if you were using the saints this is probably how I would do it. And then you want a great route runner on the left side for that C route with Emmanuel Sanders. So that's how I set it up. You can do it a different way. Maybe if you want Michael Thomas on that deep post, you could do that as well. I would just prefer to have my route apprentice available to me to put those posts and corner routes because of how effective they are. Now we're into the rest of the play. Now the way that we're going to go through the rest of this play is we're going to have two different variants that don't use any route apprentice at all. Then we're going to have one little segment where we're going to go over different variations you can use if you have a route apprentice in the slot like Michael Thomas is. We're going to start here by putting Michael Thomas on a slant, motioning across. Now, normally we would hike this before Michael Thomas sets. However, I want to let I want to let Thomas set here just so we can go over our different reads on this play and why we're set up this way. We have the drag on the tight end, and then we have the C route on Sanders. That kind of creates a flood concept. If they have hard flats, you can take the C route. If they have cloud flats or, per, or curl flats, purples, you can take the drag. And then we have the slant with the post that kind of works like a high low, right? So we have the low read if they're lurking high on that deep post, trying to take away their cover two beater you're gonna be able to take this slant underneath. And then vice versa, if they're in cover two, you have that post over the top. That's why we set it up this way early. We're in cover two here. We're just gonna go through the different reads. So starting off with the drag, this is gonna be cover two regular, like regular no shading cover two. You take that drag, that's five yards easy if they have a cloud flat out there, right? It's just regular cover two. Now we'll show cover two with hard flats. We'll do the same setup here. I'm gonna motion Thomas across. And this time I actually will hike it before Thomas sets. And you're gonna see with the hard flats out there, this C route's gonna be an easy read for you on the left side. That's the hard flat C route. That's a free 15, 20 yards. Very simple. Now I want to continue to go over the dragon C route concept. Now we're gonna to go to cover three. If we auto here, to, if we audible here to cover three, this is with the purple out there. We're gonna put it, we're gonna put a slant on Thomas and motion across. And again, remember, we're gonna have one more variant to this without the route apprentice, and then we'll go over a couple of things you can do with route apprentice. But if they have the purples out there, you take this drag, get up the field, free five to six yards. Then if they play, if they play hard flats at a cover three. You might think that the, the deep blue could play the C route, but it actually doesn't. So I'm pressing. So this is as far down as it can go with a hard flat out there and motion across this slant. We'll get to the slant in a little bit here. But I want to go over this C route with this drag, this little flood concept here. So this is press cover three. That's as far down as the deep blue can go. If they play hard flats, you can throw that C route pretty much every single time. Now we're going to get over to the slant here. So with the slant, essentially, this is no shading cover two. Now we're going back to cover two. If they don't shade at all, you're gonna be able to lowball this slant with any zones out there, it doesn't really matter. If they don't shade it or anything, you're gonna have this slant right there, just low pass it. 
I low pass that with a pass lead with well low pass with LT or L2 if you're on PS4. Then I pass lead it around like going this direction, probably like four or five o'clock. If I was going the opposite direction, it's going to be like seven or eight o'clock, right? So you just want to be able to pass lead it away from the defense so that you can catch it. Now we're going to shade down out of cover two. I'm going to show you the vert hook on the right might play it a little bit, but usually you're able to low pass this in a nice little window if they're not using it, of course. So right here. Now keep in mind, of course, if they're in cover two and they're not using that deep post, the deep post is going to be a touchdown for you against cover two. So that's going to be your read. However, we're just assuming here that they're using that. So just for example, they're taking this mid read and they're using that deep post. Now we're going to go to cover three here just to show you that that slant's going to be open as well. Very effective play, very simple play. And it works really, really well for you. So this is shaded down cover three. The hook curl is not going to play the slant. You can still low ball it. And that's four to five yards. Again, pretty simple. That's going to be cover two and cover three. Now we're going to go over man to man against it. So we jumped into cover one here, a very popular defense. You're probably seeing a lot of it online. If you're playing mutt, you probably see a lot of man press with purples on the outside like this. We're going to be over how this play can beat that. But we're going to first start with just regular stock cover one hole with press here. And then we'll go over the purples and how we can beat that as well. We'll start with the slant. Now, a man press is going to get beat by a slant on a motion almost every single time. When you have a press, you can usually stop their release from being very effective. However, if you get this uh, slant on a motion, it gets them a step ahead and it gets them a free release to beat them. And they're going to win almost every single time, especially if you have a high route runner like Michael Thomas. So we don't need to see that slant anymore. You're going to see that's going to beat man pretty much every single time. Now we'll get over to the tight end route. The reason why the tight end can be very effective on the drag is usually if they're in a cover one, they're going to be manned up with a safety maybe a linebacker and this safety here you see without any movement this is where the safety started that drag is going to beat that across the middle because you're already like two steps ahead so we'll start here without moving and then we'll move the safety and show how it can be effective as well and honestly when they have that step ahead like that anything it doesn't have to be a drag it can be it can be a post it can be anything that's going towards the other side of the field and you're going to be able to get upfield and get a lot of yards we didn't get a good rack there but we got a free five yards now we'll do it one more time here just to show you it's consistent. And you see, that's where the safety lines up. I didn't move the safety over there. That's where they're at. So we'll do this one more time. Then we'll move the safety and show that the tight end's still usually going to win on that on that drag route. So they have that extra step ahead. We get a better rack that time. We get 10 to 12 yards. Now we'll move the safety. Let's say they had time to set it up. They had time to set up their defense. We didn't quick hike. They moved the safety in because you've been, you've been using that drag a lot. So they moved them right here. But they're still not getting a good press. They're not getting a good press because... The tight end's in a three-point stance. That prevents them from getting a press on that drag. So you're getting at least a free release regardless. And then depending on the speed of your tight end, you're going to have success with it. So it still wins. Now, we only got five or six yards right there, but we'll definitely take that. Now we're going to get over to the C route here. So the C route, it can be iffy. It can win against man sometimes. It can lose against man sometimes. However, if you have route technician on, on it, it's going to be very effective and it's almost always going to beat man. So this is no shading, nothing like that. Just press on the C route and we'll go over the C route now. Now, again, if you have route technician on this, it can be extremely effective against man. But even without, if you just have a good route running like Emmanuel Sanders, it's going to win a lot of the time. So it lost right there. Like I said, iffy. Now we'll probably do it again, and it's going to win this time. But trust me, if you have enough uh, ability points and you're playing mutt, make sure you get route technician, and you're going to have a lot of success with it. We're going to try the C route again. Again, this is no shading here. I, I'm, I'm willing to say that probably Emmanuel Sanders is going to win right here. And you see, pretty easy. Clear cut wins that C route. Now we'll do it a third time. And we'll do it with some shading. So we're going to shade down this time. And no other shading other than that. Just shading down. And we'll see if it wins. It's still going to be effective man beating play. You just have to make sure you're making the right reading. You can see if it's going to win or not. But again, if you have route technician, you can kind of throw it automatically. Just like I'm doing right there. That's an automatic throw if you have route technician. Now we'll do one last one here before we get over to the purple. So I'll shade down and I'll shade outside. So that's two different shadings that should do a pretty good job against C routes. We'll see if it wins here. And this is just going through all the coverages. So we already went over cover two and cover three. This is cover one. Also, it can work against cover zero. And one last time, it wins. So very effective. Only lost once out of all four of those. Now we're going to get over to how if they put purples. Because purples are going to be what takes away that C route, right? If they put their purples on the outside like you see online all the time, just like this, you're actually still going to have reads on this play. So the drag and the slant are still going to be open even though there's purples out there. And you also have a chance to throw this deep post on the right side. There's no longer a middle deep blue in the middle of the field to stop that. So if they put two purples on the field and they don't use that post, it can be there. So we're going to show that to you here. And if they shade up, if they shade over top, it can affect it some. It's, it's going to do a lot better job in the man-to-man. -man. But if they don't shade over top, you're going to see this post is going to be open deep. Now, Harris is faster than Sherman. So that's obviously going to help, of course. But if you have someone like Tyree Kill, Mark Clayton, it's going to be extremely effective for you. Now, I will show you shade over top and that it will guard it a lot better. 
However, your opponent might not do that. So it's definitely another read on the play. And then of course you still have the slant and the drag there. So it's not like it's your only read on the play. It's just an option there for you, especially if you have a very fast receiver. In mud, I definitely recommend Tyree Kill, Mark Clayton. If you get him that 90, 90 deep route running, it's gonna be very effective. And you see this shade over top did do a lot better job. However, we still were able to catch that, but it definitely did a better job. I probably wouldn't throw that. I wouldn't recommend throwing that. However, again, if you have those fast receiver there, if you have that high deep route running, it's definitely an option for you. So those are the options against cover two, cover three, man-to-man. -man. Now I'm going to quickly jump into the second variation. We won't take nearly as long on it, and then we'll go over the different route apprentice routes. So the second variation of this play is going to revolve around the crossing route that's on RB. Very effective against man. Also going to be effective against zone. We'll just show you here against non-press man-to-man -man how open it gets. And that's not just Michael Thomas. That's going to work with anyone that meets the route running threshold. So it's going to be medium route running with this crossing route, I believe. 85 if you're on all Madden. 90 if you're on all pro which is going to be like mud and weekend league and then if you have the route apprentice crossing route that's going to be deep route running so i'll show that to you here it's going to be a little bit deeper that's going to be deep route running 85 and 90 still but this one's going to be medium so just keep that in mind we'll work the same way with emmanuel sanders that was non-press man now we'll show you against press man you're going to want to do it a little bit differently you're going to want to use a little bit of motion here you're not going to motion all the way across but just a couple steps here and then just so you can get a free release you'll see wide open across the sidelines you just want to get that free release with Michael Thomas so that you can allow that route running to go to work. That's man-to-man. -man. Now we're just going to show you against zone. We're going to do it a little bit differently here. So if they're in cover two, I want to show you how it can work like a corner route. So we're going to shade down. This is a hard flat. It's going to work just like a corner route is. We're going to do the same thing, drag on X. And this drag with this crossing route is going to work kind of like a flood concept did, just like the C route did. So we motion it all the way across here. If you see a hard flat, you can throw that crossing route right on the sidelines. Now, if they have a cloud flat, you still can throw the drag. So just like the same before, it's going to work like a flood concept. Now we'll go to cover three with press. So that's about the best you can do with that deep blue. It's as far down to the, the, the line of scrimmage as you can get. And this is still going to get open for you on the sidelines. You just want to pass lead it outside and a little bit down. So right here, it's going to be like eight o'clock or so right towards the sidelines. And you get that catch on the sidelines. Really simple. If they have cloud flats, you throw the drag. If you don't, I don't need to show that to you again. I don't want to waste your time. We've already had this go for a little bit. That's what you're going to do. That's the other variation uh, with this play. You utilize the crossing route instead of the C route. Now, quickly, we'll just go over a couple of variations here. All you, and I'm not even going to really show them to you. You can put the crossing route on. Uh, let me reset here. We, you can put the crossing route on Thomas, uh, the excuse me, the route apprentice uh, one, and not the regular one. And then you can motion it across like we did before, and that's going to work well for you. So if you hiked it like the slant, just like this, that'll be good for you. That's something else that you can do. Different variation to the play. Just something you can mix in you can use a post there instead so just different things that you can do instead of the slant that we were using before motion it over on a post that's something else you can do so just like this that's another one just a little bit better than a slant a little bit more yards essentially but same concept right you have another crossing route that mixes with a high low with that deep post on the outside and the last thing you can do is maybe use it as a corner route right so if you have a corner route and then you put a drag on x let's just go back to cover two here and shade down so it's the same thing as the crossing route you're just motioning over a corner and essentially plays that flood concept just like the crossing route did if they have a hard flat you throw the corner out so that's a couple variations you can do if you have the route apprentice there but again you don't need it tons of setups without it i hope this was helpful for you it's completely compatible with the trips tight end same personnel you can audible down into it but that's it for this let's get into the oh wait, wait i messed that up here let's get to the lineup very quickly here we'll just fly through the lineup haven't made too many changes from our last video. We have Lamar Jackson QB, Eddie Georgia running back. We did pick up Cherry Rice to replace Keenan McCardell. I believe that's our only change on O. We have Drew Bennett, Sari Kill, and Jermichael Finley. And all the abilities are the same still. Defensively, I believe we have three pickups. We picked up Steve Atwater. We picked up Fletcher Cox. We picked up Rob Woodson. Now, the abilities have changed. That's something we did make a change on on defense. We'll go over to abilities here. We are actually using enforcers now. So we have enforcer at Steve Atwater, enforcer on Adrian Wilson. We have under pressure on Justin Smith instead of edge threat now. And we're still using acrobat on Rob Woodson and Asante Samuel. I feel like that helps them make some plays. So I really like that ability. So those are the changes we made. Pretty different from our last video, actually, on defense. Pretty different. We'll see how it goes for us. We, I've used it a little bit. I've liked it so far. It's been pretty cool. We'll try it out. We'll keep rocking with it until I don't like it anymore. And we'll see how the things change. So on offense, we're using the Chargers. And on defense, we're using the Chiefs. That's it for the team. Again, I remember, I want to remind you that we just dropped an ebook over on HotRot.tips for the Chargers offense, featuring mostly the gun trips tight end. That's it for the team. Don't forget code chaos for 10% off. Let's go. Let's get into the game.
Here we go with game one, and as I said before, we're just gonna be trying to break down our thought process throughout the entire game, our offensive side of the ball, our defensive side of the ball, doing our best here, let's go. We're gonna be starting this one on defense here, that's cool. I just like to take this time to remind you to make sure you're doing your formation subs, doing your audibles early on in the game, it can be really important. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that was a little scary. Making sure you're doing those things, they're very important. We're gonna be going against Gun Bunch today. This is a perfect time to remind you to make sure you're messing around with your zone depths. Nice free, nice free. Making sure you're messing around with your zone depths. So you're gonna see me here going to my coach adjust, uh, coach adjustments, that is. And I'm gonna change around with my purples. I like to change them to 25 when I'm going against Bunch. Different offense are gonna require different things. But if they have crossing patterns, if they have deep corners, stuff like that, you're going to make sure you're changing those around, being effective. Just not allow them to pick up big yards very quickly. But now right there, of course, I just gave up a nice game to the running back. We're just going to try to adjust here. This is a feel-out drive. You like to try to see what your opponent likes to do. They like to pass the ball deep, like to pass the ball short. Ooh, nice read, nice read. Again, just trying to, ooh, just trying to figure out what they like to do. That's what you like to do early on in games. And then when you have a big third down, a big fourth down, you probably know what they want to do. We're playing a lot of coverage this game. I like to play coverage against Bunch. I feel like if we can adjust the right way, we can do a pretty good job. Nice pocket. Nice pocket by our opponent there. Send the spy. Send the spy. Go get him. Aaron. Aaron, that's just me having a slower spy. Lamar's going to be faster. He's going to outrun. I just need to do a better job of containing. Something else that's really important this year is making sure you're getting all your adjustments in. They can hike the ball very quickly. And that's a laser. We're just getting dotted right now. We're just absolutely getting dotted. But like I said, it's a feel out try. We need to pick up on these things. It'll help us later on in the game. We got to do a better job right now. Now that we're in the red zone, we can take our deep loose off, be a little bit more adjusty here. We don't have to worry about any deep passes over the top because there is the end zone to stop him and that's some still we had a chance we had a chance at that one that's okay it's a low pass it looked like that's okay i'm okay with the swat again here just trying to get really adjusty being really aggressive we don't need all the deep blues that's a good play oh i th i didn't didn't y'all think we picked that nope i actually thought we picked that good play by our opponent we gotta get a, we gotta get an answer we gotta get an answer i really thought we made a play on that i really did i actually thought we either swatted that or we're gonna get a chance at a pick that's perfectly cool. We didn't get our stop. We've got to answer back right here. Now, just like the offensive side, excuse me, just like the defensive side of the ball, we're going to feel out drive on offense and they're in 146. So I'm calling the read option. If they're going to be in a weaker defense, like 146, like Dollar, you got to take advantage of the run. I'm not going to run every play, but you got to take advantage of it. It's going to be a feel out drive. Are they going to want to stay in 146? Are they going to go to a defense like nickel 335? Well, actually, they don't have them in the state playbook. Like a nickel normal, maybe something like that. You're just going to be able to try to figure out what they want to do. Got our hitch. We got our hitch. Oh, that was a really good user. That was a really good user. Now, but I'm okay with the read. I feel like it was safe, but really good user. It was zoned the first place. So we're going to react as if it's zoned here. Really good defense. We had the tight end crosser, but everyone was coming in right there. We got to get half back. Definitely not our best start right here. But we're going to have to get half back. We have Eddie George. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's more than half back. This is completely manageable. I'm going to get on the ball. I'm going to go hurry up. I'm not going to allow a lot of time to adjust. We're going read option. It's a weaker defense. We're going read option. We're handing it off no matter what. We're handing off no matter what, and we're gonna make sure we get this first down. That was just to not allow them a lot of time to adjust. We felt like we had the run there. We'll take advantage of it. Going back to the slant post setup, I liked it the first time. Oh, our opponent was stuck on the DT. I don't like when they get stuck on the DT. I can't find them. That's one of the first things you wanna do on a play is find where the user's at. I couldn't see our opponent. That could have been bad. It was just a DT though, so I'm not too mad at it. We're just gonna go back to the read option. Ooh, it got stopped right there. It got stopped. I think I'm gonna go back to it. I think I'm gonna go back to it. Third and inches, we're gonna go no huddle. If they can stop it again for inches against Eddie George, that's perfectly cool. But we're just going to try to not allow them time to adjust. You see there, stuck on a DT. That's perfect. That is perfect. By the way, I know it sounds like I'm probably rambling a lot right here. If you're new to these videos, I ramble a lot of my chaos coaching. I miss my read. We, I ramble a lot of these chaos coaches. I'm just trying to teach as much as I can. I'm probably trying, I'm trying to learn myself some as well. So if I'm rambling, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to do my best out here. That's all I can do. We need to pick up a few yards here. I do not want to settle for three down here. I'm looking for my table route. Not going to be there. I have our end. We have our end. Racket, go Tyreek, go Tyreek. I'll take it. We're coming out on this trip side end here. We're actually gonna audible down to this single back wide trips. This is what we ran the play out of earlier that we talked about when we went over the wide receiver post. We'll see if the dive's gonna work. We got a hole, Eddie George. All right, we answered back. Now there's two minutes, there's two minutes. We have to play safe defense. We don't wanna give up seven here. Obviously we like a stop number one. Three is not the worst though. We just don't wanna give up a touchdown. I'm actually getting really adjusty right here, but I have to watch anything going deep myself. Oh, the tight end's open. Nice read. Really nice read. Nice hit stick. Once again, getting really adjusted. Taking our middle deep blue off. If anything's going deep, I'm watching it. Oh, we're getting dotted. We are just absolutely getting dotted every play. Don't listen to a thing I'm doing on defense because it ain't working. It's not working. I'm going to try to get a lurk here on this post. Nope. The defense sent. Hit, hit. Oh, Atwater. Oh, did we get it? We got it. Big time hit from Atwater. Let's go. 
Oh, big time hit from Atwater right there. Big time hit. And we have Eddie George. We have Eddie George in space. Oh, I got called to my time. I just wanted to try to get a run to get on a hash there. We'll take the yards. We need a few more yards here, but we don't need too many. No, 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 no. That's not enough. That's not enough. Get on the ball, on the ball, on the ball, on the ball. We're looking for our seam. We're looking for our seam and a spike. Seam and a spike. Seam and a spike. Catch it. Spike, spike, spike. Can we get this off? Can we get the spike? Hurry, hurry, hurry. No, we didn't get it off. It's. I, I wasted timeouts earlier in the half. That's on me. That is on me. It's our ball at halftime. We didn't capitalize, but I'll definitely take a tie. In hindsight, we probably should have just ran read option on that first and 10 instead of taking a sack just to get, try to get a few more yards to get into field goal range. That's on us. Well, not really on us, more so on me, but that's okay too. That is okay too. Scary, scary. We had, that was, we had to make a quick read, a little scary. I like the read. I, I'll take it though. That's okay. That's okay. Sometimes you got to make a little bit scarier read than you want to do, but if it's there, it's there. You got to trust it and we'll, we'll roll with it here. Got our hitch we got our hitch ice catch we're kind of being forced here just to dink and dunk you know take our underneath routes we're not getting a ton of time in the pocket but that's not that's not the end of the world that's not the end of the world oh i thought we had any choice we got to take what's there right you got to take what's there we might have our corner out on the outside right here we might we're going to nice catch jerry nice job i would absolutely love seven right now if we could get seven we'd be in a great spot we're gonna go to this read option right here i made a really bad cut we still got yards but we might have had the touchdown we're actually audibling back down here to this single back we had a good we had a good run last time we'll try this single back wide trips run again here we go that was better defense but eddie george eddie george is doing a great job you know i'm not sure here if this is four down territory or not i'm not sure we'll see how many yards we get right here on this blast eddie george on aggressive touchdown yes i'm sorry for the voice crack. I got really excited. I got really excited right there. Let me go back to conservative here. We have a seven point lead now pending this extra point. If we can get one more stop, we'll be in a great spot. Once again, we're trying to get adjusted here. I'm watching anything deep out route. I got to start playing hard flats. Our opponent's doing a great job of taking the flat whenever it's there. I got to do a mix in of hard flat. I can't just go purple. I can't just go purple. We decided to man the tight end up instead this time instead of going with hard flat. Oh, Kent. I wasn't seeing. I didn't see it. I was only on the curl. I didn't see it. I'm watching for this motion slant. I'm on it. I'm on it. Let's go. Let's go. We need that. Watching this land here again. It looks like a motion. I'm on it. Post isn't there. Oh, Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald. Hit stick. Hit stick. Hit stick. Let's go. That's what we needed. That's the only way we've got to stop. Because we've gotten down in the whole game. But we'll take it. Right now for this drive, all we want to do is try to take the rest of this game. We don't need any more points if we can finish out the game. Oh, with, a, with just running out the clock. That's all we got to do. Going back to the read option here. Just trying to take as much clock as possible. Walking into field goal range. This is field goal range now. If I don't lose any more yards, will in field goal range. That will put us up two possessions. I can't make any mistakes. Going right back to it here. Going right back to the read option. We got a nice block. And I just had the worst cut. So we'll take it to the two-minute warning. This game is definitely flown by here. We're just going to run the ball one last time here. And that should be the game. That should be the game. Maybe not clockwise. We have the field goal. We're just going to run the clock out here as best we can. And that's going to be GG's. Great game to our opponent. The only way we were able to get a stop was QB fumbles. But that is perfectly okay on the game two. Here we go with game two. Our main goal for this game is to play better defense than we did in the first one. Here we go. We're going to be starting this one on offense. And again, I want to remind you, making sure you're doing your formation subs, making sure you're setting your audibles. I don't really set audibles on defense, but I definitely do on offense. Formation subs, I do it on both sides of the ball. I'll also note here that I like to start the game on conservative. I rarely ever go off conservative. The only, ooh, nice. Stick. That, that's why I'm on conservative, right? The, uh, the only time that I really ever go off of conservative is when my I'm like in the red zone. I need to get a touchdown, third and one, fourth and one. I really need that yard. I'll go on aggressive, but I rarely have ever on balance. I'm kind of just in no, never in between type thing, but take Eddie George right here. Get a feel, get a feel, baby. Ooh. Definitely a feel out drive for us here. I haven't played against this defense very much, if at all. I'm just trying to see, does our opponent like the blitz? Are they playing mostly zone? It's definitely man to man. Nice catch. So it was man press and it actually looks like shaded down because of the way the press played my zig. So I'm definitely keeping an eye on that. If they take their deep blow off like they did right there, we might be able to get a deep pass later on in the game because they're shading down. If you didn't know when they're shading down, you can usually put a streak on a faster player. They won't get as good of a press. You're, like, you're able to get more deep passes. If you shade over top though out of man to man, if you have players that are pretty fast, you're rarely ever gonna get beat over the top. So it's kind of like whatever one you wanna do. If you wanna take away the underneath stuff, you're shading down, but you're putting yourself at risk for the top. I'm just gonna run the ball with Eddie George here again. Ball forward. Ah, third and one. I might have to run the ball again here. We're actually going to go to the pass here. Not sure if it's the smartest play, but we're just watching the user. Watching the user. Oh, I have my running back. I have my running back. Oh, I had Eddie George so long ago. I got to make that read sooner. I'm actually going to go for this one. I'm not sure if it's the right play or not, but we're actually going to try it. Oh, we have our crosser. Yes. 
All right, it ended up being the right decision. I don't know if we should have went for it there. Maybe the first try of the game, probably should take our three. Chaos coaching, do the right play, right? But I wanted to go for it, so we went for it. Ended up working out. I'll definitely take it. Love a 7 nothing lead to start the game off. Make sure we make this kick. Now we got to try to get a stop right here. We'll see how we can do. Defensively now, we're just going to try to see what our opponent likes to do. They're in this pistol bunch tight end, which actually has some good run plays from it. I'm going to play more, I'm gonna have to play some more run defense this game. Didn't have to play much run defense last game. A lot of passing. This one might be a little bit more run. I definitely still have to stay ready for the pass. So you can pass on this pistol bunch tight end again as well. It's definitely a, a formidable formation this year. Definitely could be effective. And that was not good run defense. They, they, they got caught up in the O-line right there. That was not good run defense by me. We got to be better than that. Playing hard flats here in case it's a pass. We're ready for the run, though. We were playing run. We were playing run, but I missed the gap. I got to shoot the gap there. I feel pretty good about our run defense now. I think we're going to be able to shoot this gap down if they run the stretch left or the stretch right. Our defenders made the play. Our defenders made the play. Pass here at the running back. Oh! Yeah, see, you can pass out of that pistol bunch. You definitely can. Pass again. We gotta watch. We gotta watch that uh, that wheel route from the verticals. We get hit. Oh, I thought I thought Atwater was about to get another one. I thought he was. All right, we're set up for the run this time. I feel like we can shoot this gap. There we go. There we go. We're there. Big third down right here. We gotta get a stop. Oh no, I didn't get the running back manned up the way I wanted to. We gotta play. We gotta play on that. Pick it. All right, fourth down. Are they going to take their three or not? This could be a big fourth down. And it looks like they're going to go. This could be a huge play. I got stuck on the wrong player. Good hit. Let's go. Now we have to try to capitalize on our stop here. If we don't capitalize on it, it's almost as if we got no stop at all. It's our opponent's ball at half. We have the crosser. Oh, we had the crosser. Oh, I thought we had it. I'm actually going to try to get our opponent over the top here. I talked about this earlier. If they press shading down, you maybe could get it over the top. And we didn't have it. And that was not my best read we're gonna need to get some time in the pocket right here we should have our slant or our crosser it's zone we gotta take our zig we gotta take our zig oh we didn't get it oh we we have to punt the ball back it's the right play i said going into the drive we had to capitalize on our stop for it to be worth anything well we didn't gain a single yard so that was not capitalizing whatsoever we need another stop got our spy from lamar here i feel good about our defense hit stick Ooh, we just gotta play contained defense right now we don't want to give up anything big over the top and that's exactly what we don't want to give up great hit from bob sanders like i was saying before we don't want to give up anything big right here oh oh it's because i was on aaron donald I, I i told you you have to adjust faster we're all set up here i feel good about our defense Again, hit stick Wilson. Good hit, Wilson. That's enforcer. That's not only for fumbles. It's for knocking out passes, too. I didn't get my spy for Lamar, but hopefully they just can't get 10 yards on it. That's a great play. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Great swat right there. We'll definitely take it. Let's see what they're going to do on fourth down. Going with no spy here again. If they scramble for 10 yards, it happens. I don't think they have anything. Pick it. Let's go, Asante. We got some space. We got some space. I don't even know what I was doing. I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to act like I knew what I was doing. I'm not going to act like I knew what I was doing, but we'll definitely take the TD. We're going to be starting this half on defense here. We just have to play contained defense. We don't want to make any mistakes, give up any deep passes. Oh, 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 let's go, Rod. Let's go. And that's going to do it. GG's to both of our opponents. Both were fun, exciting games. I hope you all enjoy them. I hope you all like to play wide receiver post. Definitely could be an effective one for you. If you did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy. Peace. There's nothing wrong with a voice crack. Voice crack elite.